Apollo 220. Starting out here with the uh, power plant. Got a Honda four stroke VTEC 225. Fuel injected. Beautiful engine. This vessel is in great shape. It's practically new. Uh, very low hours. Loaded with features. All right. So starting back here with the, the transom. We got a transom door. We got our um, little swim platform there that folds up telescopically. We got Sea Star steering hydraulics back there. And then uh, we'll show you in a minute. We've got full access to the to the transom underside behind this bench that folds up. And we have a bait well here, which is aerated, lighted, recirculating, got a clear acrylic top on it. We got our knife holder and tool holder right here. You can use it as a cutting station. We've got nice aluminum tube frame uh, seating here. We've got four rocket launches there, another four rocket launches up there. Looking on the sides and the gunnels, we've got uh, rod storage, gaff, um, net storage. We also have lighting under there. It's a self failing cockpit. We've got a nice uh, hard top on this boat. It's got built-in spreader lights, forward and aft. Uh, aft, you see the two built-in um, facing. And then we've got the forward uh, spreader light, one, uh, facing forward. Uh, very nice hard top, all integrated electronics. And uh, up here we've got all the hard top electronics. We've got a Two spreader lights, courtesy lights, a VHF radio if you put one in here, and two extra accessories. And there's a large uh, weatherproof box in here, also with an acrylic lid, and you could put a VHF radio in there or whatever you like. Okay. Now here's the, uh, the leaning post. As you can see, it's in great condition, really nice, and here's our helm. So you've got an electronics box and some switches up there with the hard top and you've got your your main console here. And we've got uh, stainless steel steering wheel. We've got our Honda uh, engine lights here. We've got oil pressure, oil temperature, voltage and check engine. We've got a cup holders there. You got our Honda throttle on the switches we got courtesy lights cabin lights there is a cabin inside the center console there I'll show you that in a minute nav and anchor light aft bilge water pressure so we do have pressurized water there's a fresh water wash down there's a live well two accessories and a horn and then we've got uh, 12 volt there you got a stereo switch and a tab switch and then we've got our stereo head unit built in with a uh, mp3 jack or a three millimeter jack right under it so you can hook that up to your phone and then we've got the Honda TAC and Honda speedometer multifunction gauges uh, and then we have a Garmin GPS map 540s uh, which is the primary head unit and then we have uh, it's a chart uh, plotter the chart plotter sonar uh, and fish finder and then we have uh, Richie uh, two inch compass there real nice uh, acrylic windshield as well all right and then uh, looking back there's that compartment we'll take a look at that all right we're looking at this uh, cool three-way transom seat transom access battery access panel uh, this is the uh, open configuration We've got two batteries in here, got our fresh water pump, got drains, and we've got a uh, fuel filter, fuel water separator, got another battery over there, and then we've got our, uh, our battery switch with stereo memory, half bilge, and main power. Okay. So I'm going to drop this down, one hand, and now it's a, a lean post, very nice, and I'm just going to tilt this post up, 
and a bench pops out. So there you go, three different configurations, very nice. All right, moving forward, we have the uh, center console, which I have the door open here. It's a huge compartment. I can almost stand up in it, so it's got a six foot uh, standing room. And you could put a you know, full size head in there. You've got leg room underneath there, and you got leg room under in the back. Um, you've got lighting. And then this panel is your access to the electronics. I've got pictures of that you can look at. Um, the sticker says this DuPont Duke Kevlar hull. Nice acrylic door. All right. Now we look up front. We've got uh, padded seating in front with two huge uh, fish boxes, and they both look just like that. Very large fish boxes. And then the floor, we've got uh, a cooler fish box. Uh, it's got a drain as well. And then there's a forward-facing seat here that's padded, and it opens up uh, as a cooler or whatever you want to use it. Down. Going up here, we've got our uh, anchor locker, which uh, you've got your fluke style anchor in there with some rope. Put that around the right way. There you go. Now have an anchor light up front. I'm going to put that down. Look up here, and you can see there's your spread of light, windshield, seating position. Got lots of room to move around and on the uh, port side of the gun only you've got your tackle storage with uh, two drawers there okay and we've got JBL speakers got nice footrest under there great looking boat and we'll go take a look at the outside next all right here we are on the outside um, there's that uh, swim ladder Got a concealed storage, it's telescopic, very nice. There's our Honda 225 four stroke. Got a three blade Mirage prop. 15 degree pitch. Looks to be in very good shape. All right. Very nice size fishing vessel. Comes with all aluminum double axle trailer. Got two drum brakes under there. Okay. Up front is your winch. Got a bow scuff plate. Also comes with a full boat cover. And you can see that in the photographs. Alright. Great looking boat. Nice package. Check it out at popyachts.com. Stock number 57641. If I can hold the camera steady here. There you go. All of us are welcome. 